Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the solution for the given partial differential equation. This is of the form capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. Now from this, we find capital P is Y minus Z, capital Q is minus 2X plus Y and capital R is 2x plus z. To get the solution, we have to solve dx by capital P equal to dy by capital Q equal to dz by capital R. Now substituting PQR, we get dx by y minus z equal to dy by it is minus 2x minus y by taking the minus sign inside and third term is dz by 2x plus z. Now we are going to use a multiplier 1 1 1. So using Lagrange's multiplier one one one. So we get the same term because when everything is multiplied with 1, again it is dx by y minus z equal to dy by minus 2x minus y equal to dz by 2x plus z equal to. After multiplying, we get the same term. Then using the ratio property, we are going to add all the numerators. So adding all the numerators, we get dx plus dy plus dz whole division we are going to add y minus z minus 2x minus y plus 2x plus z so here we find y minus y minus z plus z 2x minus 2x gets cancelled and finally this is 0 now we are going to take two terms at a time let's take these two and go into integrate. So when you take this, it is dz by 2x plus z equal to dx plus dy plus dz whole division 0. When I cross multiply, this 0 is multiplied with this entire term. So we finally left with dx plus dy plus d z equal to 0. Now on integrating both the sides this is x plus y plus z equal to c1. So we got the first part of the solution. Now we have to take another two pair. Let us take the first and last. But when I take first and last, the problem is again we get the same solution. So let us take the another pair that is first and third because it looks simpler dx by y minus z. So dx by y minus z equal to dz by under z we have 2x plus z. So, 2x plus z. Here, we have dx and dy. So, it is difficult if I have this y term. So, for that, I am going to take y from the first part of the solution. So, from this, y is c1 minus x minus z. I am going to substitute here dx by c1 minus x minus z minus z. I replaced y and apart from that there is a minus z at the end and this is dz by 2x plus z. Now totally this is dx by c1 minus x minus 2z and here it is dz by 2x plus z. Now we are going to cross multiply. This entire term is multiplied with dx. So this will be 
टू एक्स डी एक्स प्लस जेड डी एक्स एंड ऑन द अदर साइड दिस एंटायर टर्म इज मल्टीप्लाई बाई डी जेड सो सी वन डी जेड माइनस एक्स डी जेड माइनस टू जेड डी जेड नाउ लेट्स रीअरेंज दिस इज फाइन एंड even this is fine so i have to take it to the other side that becomes 2x dx plus 2z dz then this term i'll bring it here so it becomes x dz and next we have plus z dx and at the end we have c1 dz and even the c1 dz can be taken to the other side here along with this dz so finally this is 2x dx plus 2z dz minus c1 dz and this part is actually differentiation of x into z using the product rule x into dz plus z into dx which is equal to 0 now we integrate this on both the sides the first part Become two x square by two plus two z square by two, and this is constant into z plus x z equal to the integration constant c two because the other part is zero. Now after cancelling these two, we left with x square plus z square minus. We have to replace c one. C one is From the first part of the solution, it is x plus y plus z. So open bracket x plus y plus z into z plus x z equal to c two. Now this is x square plus z square by multiplying the z inside and along the minus sign minus x z minus y z minus z square. Plus x z equal to c two. So here we notice z square and minus z square we can cancel, and in the same way minus x z plus x z we can cancel. So after removing all this, we left with x square minus y z, which is equal to the constant c two. Now after getting c one and c two, we can go for the general solution. And this general solution is in the form of f of a comma b equal to zero. But here we use a constant c one and c two. So f of c one comma c two equal to zero, and c one is x plus y plus z, and c two is x square minus y z equal to zero. Thus, we got the solution for the given partial differential equation using the Lagrange's multiplier method.